Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. Uh, I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit that like button for me down below. And subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. All right, y'all. Today's video is going to be a real quick video, actually. I'm going to be telling you guys the differences between salicylic acid and benzoic peroxide. These two ingredients seem to be interchanged a lot, and they're really not the same. They kind of are the same, but not really. So let's get into it without wasting more time. <laughs> okay, so starting with benzoic peroxide. Benzoic peroxide is an acne medication. It typically comes in over-the-counter strength of 10%. There's also 5% if you're a person of color. Obviously, I would recommend starting slow, 5%, and then doing a 10% because benzoic peroxide can be irritating. So if you have sensitive skin, definitely would not do benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide, one of the disadvantages of it is it actually bleaches. It could literally bleach your clothing. I have experienced this, literally have lost like two or three clothing items because of benzoyl peroxide. I had to toss it. I loved those t-shirts, okay? Even though they were a dollar each, I still love them, okay? <laughs> No, benzoyl peroxide really is very bleaching, so you want to use benzoyl peroxide in the a.m. and not p.m. Because if you use it in p.m., you're going to lay on your pillow or on your sheets, and you can easily mess up your sheets or your pillowcase, so you don't want to do that. You definitely want to be wary of wearing it at nighttime. Benzoyl peroxide, how it kills acne is that it actually kills bacteria on the surface of the skin. Surface of the skin that could potentially cause acne, okay? So basically, once you put it on there, it starts to fight any bacteria that could potentially cause acne acne on that skin surface. Some popular benzoyl peroxide products are Pinoxyl. It has 10% benzoyl peroxide, BP gel, acne clear, and some brands have like a BP uh, acne wash treatment. Now, segueing into salicylic acid. Salicylic acid almost kills bacteria almost the same way as benzoyl peroxide, but this time, salicylic acid actually goes deep into your pores and starts to unclog any sebum that could potentially cause acne, any acne-causing bacteria. It'll kill it before it even comes to the skin surface. So benzoyl peroxide is a better choice for people that have oily skin or just acne prone skin because you know we need more than that surface uh surface action we need something that's really going to go into those pores and take action because a lot of the times we just have really really oily glands so we need something that's going to really go into those pores and take action in there. Salicylic acid is a BHA it's an exfoliant as well and it typically comes in a strength of two percent uh I honestly I haven't seen it more than 2%. It actually is the only FDA cleared BHA so far compared to its counterpart AHAs that have like a gazillion AHAs. Salicylic acid is actually the only FDA cleared um, BHA treatment. The ordinary has a salicylic acid uh, solution and a salicylic acid 2% mask. I believe Inculus also has a salicylic acid one. There's a bunch of salicylic acid washes. If you have like body acne, I have one that I use that I really enjoy uh, to shower with. So yeah, I mean, that's really it. Both of them work similarly. The only difference is benzoyl peroxide works on the skin surface. Salicylic acid goes deep into your pores. Benzoyl peroxide, great if you have drier skin type. Salicylic acid, better if you have oilier skin type or acne prone skin. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a really quick video to sort of talk about these two uh, ingredients that could be confusing because they are kind of similar. Let's be worried about the bleaching with benzoyl peroxide and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family, you guys. I really enjoy when you guys join and interact with me and, you know, we're forming a really amazing community here of people that are like skincare warriors. So yeah, I love it. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm really active on TikTok more than Instagram, but um, yeah, if you want more behind the scenes of like my job or even just like topics that you're, you know, interested in catch me on tiktok okay join the family and i will see you guys next time bye